We hope you enjoyed the Water Journey Lab. Let's take a look at the different parts of the water cycle that you learned about. The water cycle is the continuous movement of water on, above, and below the surface. Driven by the sun, the exchange of heat energy allows the molecules to change states at different stages of the cycle. Water moves from one reservoir to another, such as an ocean to a lake. The sun heats the water on the surface of the ocean and causes it to evaporate or turn into a gas known as water vapor. Water vapor can also be released from plants or the soil through a process known as transpiration. The movement of water vapor from above the ocean to land is called advection. When water vapor cools down in the atmosphere, it turns into water droplets through a process called condensation. These water droplets create clouds in the sky. When water droplets are close to the ground, they create fog. Eventually, the water droplets and clouds begin to fall to the Earth's surface. This is called precipitation. Depending on the ground temperature, precipitation can also be rain, sleet, which is a mixture of rain and snow, snow, which is crystalline water ice, grapple, which are supercooled water droplets, and hail, which are large clumps of ice. When precipitated water hits the Earth's surface, it is absorbed by the soil through a process called infiltration. This water then seeps into the Earth's crust where it joins groundwater, aquifers, through the bedrock into caves and underground rivers. These underground bodies of water in turn can feed rivers, lakes, springs, and streams. These rivers will lead the water back into the ocean, thus beginning the cycle again. The important thing to remember is that water never disappears. It moves elsewhere. Now that you've learned how the water cycle works, let's go over a few content statements. Water on Earth is part of an endless cycle. However, the paths it forms vary from ice movement, water flow, and water vapor. Though water moves away from one area through evaporation or flowing out to sea, it remains on Earth in one state or another, closing the system. Evaporation is the process of liquid water turning into water vapor. This only happens on the surface of the liquid. Precipitation is the process of condensed water vapor falling to the Earth's surface. It can occur in the form of rain, sleet, snow, grapple, or hail. Infiltration is the process of water seeping into the ground and becoming soil moisture or groundwater. Thank you for watching. Now you know the water cycle. See if you can figure out different variations of droplets' journeys.